was certainly a historic election, and it was a big shock. Most of the polls turned out to be totally wrong. Uh, but we've got to make our nation work and be successful. Uh, we take an oath of office to the Constitution, not to any leader or political party. Tennesseans have always been very practical. I want to keep on carrying that attitude. And Nashville's working great. We need to help the nation work as well as Nashville is. What do you think the decision from the voters said about what the voters want right now out of elected officials? Terrific amount of anger and frustration. Uh, they want change, that's for sure. Now, uh, President-elect Trump didn't define change a whole lot. You know, there are a lot of tweets, there are a lot of sound bites, but um, hopefully that will mean good things. The key is going to be him appointing good folks. I'm hopeful that Senator Corker would be picked in the administration. He's looking at some bomb throwers and some incendiary people. I don't think that would be very good. Uh, we've got to work together to solve our problems. That's the bottom line, and hopefully President-elect Trump will help us do that. Do you think that Corker would make a good Secretary of State or Secretary of the Treasury? I think it would be great at whatever job, because he knows the Senate. He's a practical, common-sense person. Uh, he knows how to work across the aisle. I think that's all you can ask for. I'm not as fond of a Newt Gingrich or Rudy Giuliani or folks like that who've been all over TV all the time talking too much. Uh, that's not a good way to run a cabinet or an administration. What do you imagine it'll be like working with the Donald Trump presidency? Well, that's it. Hardly anybody knows. In fact, uh, relatively few people in the business world know because um, uh, I've really not run into a business person who's excited about a Trump presidency. Uh, the market was down for a while, the stock market. Uh, I don't know a single business that would want him on the board of directors or to run the company. Uh, you know, it doesn't mean he's a bad person, but this is very atypical. It's really a revolution in the Republican Party. It's almost a civil war in the Republican Party. I'm just hopeful he'll be nice to Speaker Paul Ryan, because Paul Ryan is an excellent Republican. He does a great job, but they've clashed repeatedly. And I hope that President-elect Trump will listen to folks like Paul Ryan. What do you think this says about both political parties? Because it, it seems like both of them having a shakeup right now. It's not just a shakeup; it's an earthquake. And um, we need to get rid of the old that wasn't working. We need a lot of reform. Uh, some things we need some revolution. But you got to be sensible about it. Make sure people aren't hurt. Make sure the country grows faster and in the right direction. Uh, we don't need trade wars with China. We don't need to build walls on the Mexican border. Um, he made a lot of promises that are going to be hard to keep. And expectations are sky high. And ironically, it's a little bit like Obama in 08, where he was a blank slate and everybody projected onto him all their hopes and fears. The same way with Trump right now. Uh, how can you keep people in Florida and Michigan and California and Maine and Alaska happy? That's a hard thing to do. And he's coming into office as the oldest president-elect in American history. And the office ages you terribly. So that right there itself is a huge burden. Um, so we have a lot to find out, and it's a very exciting time.